Hi traders and welcome to our weekly Forex recap. Today, uh, of course, as always, we have a Euro dollar, pound dollar, Australian dollar, dollar cat and WTI. Last week uh, was excellent regarding uh, weekly Forex uh, recap. And uh, yeah, I can say that the first uh, weekly Forex recap video ECS elite currency went more than fine. We really had a great, great pip count. And as always, I will uh, show you results. And definitely, definitely, I'm very happy how things went for our uh, trading. Uh, before I start, of course, uh, you need to know that CFD and Forex are leveraged products and can result in losses that exceed your deposits. And of course, because of that, those are not suitable for everyone. And of course, everything you see here is my personal opinion only and my personal traits. Okay, guys. Uh, also, uh, just want to see how the screen goes. I think that uh, now uh, some levels can be seen uh, more clear. If not, I will always uh, ensure that you see the maximum quality. So, yeah, I, I think that now it's better than previous time. So, uh, we see uh, basically the transmission in HD. So, yeah, I mean, I think the screen is good. Okay. Yeah, I will get back to this just a little bit later before we go with setups trading rules uh, for our uh, for our weekly uh, session recap give price a breathing room and we usually enter in the zone it's called the poc zone add a spread to your stop loss and guys even if you trade via ecn account add two to five pip spread depending on pair traded also guys for equities and commodities you need to add a spread and have in mind that both equities and commodities use a little bit higher stop loss count okay uh, we take only one position per listed pair so it's either positional or alternative trade whichever hits first have in mind that first touch of the zone is the most profitable and that is why we need to focus on the first touch positional trades are called trend trades Alternative trades are called counter-trend trades. Breakout trades and scalp trade levels can be traded independently of any position. Okay, for Forex, also very important, depending on time and volatility, we use profit stop after 20 pips, but not less. For equities and commodities, protect your profits around important levels and use trailing stops. These setups are valid for today, tomorrow, and sometimes the day after tomorrow. And pay attention, of course, always to Twitter updates. Scalp trades should be done at or very close to important support resistance levels. And all those trades are calculated by historical levels and Camarilla. Okay. Also, add these levels to your system and pay attention to trend so you might find other trend-based entries. And the term pips pool, it is the, the maximum available number of pips you could have made on my setups. Okay. So this is very, very important. Uh, Okay, guys, so here we are. Uh, do we have a sound now? 
Do we have a sound now? Yes, now it's okay. Excellent. Well, yeah, I probably clicked this HD a few times and then it told me no sound, but it's easy to, to actually get back here. Contrary to Citrix, Citrix software really made some uh, problems like I'm being suddenly kicked out from the webinar, so I didn't like it. This crowdcast work is working really much better. And it's easier just to actually join this webinar, really. And we are also uploading it to YouTube in a much faster way. So this is it. I mean, as you can see, we are using different software. It's Crowdcast. And the trade of the week for the previous week, last week, was the dollar CAD. The dollar CAD, so popular, Looney, was very, very good trade. And this is how it went. So always remember this vertical line represents the time of our webinar. And these are levels that have been hit. And, of course, uh, we want to see what happened uh, during the webinar uh, and after the webinar. So this is why I'm giving you these screenshots. For example, and this is it, Euro dollar. We had sell position. The sell position was initiated just after... Uh, our webinar, and you can see that it went almost 50 pips in profit. So euro dollar, 50 pips possible. I'm talking about pip pool. Of course, when you manage your trade, well, it depends. But this was a great, great rejection. GBP dollar also was very good. We had a 33.90 sell straight from the 33.90. We had basically 33.30, so 60 possible pips on the gbp dollar so this was also good 60 possible pips okay uh from this spot here okay towards this spot okay so uh, let me just zoom it in a little bit and you can see how things went from this spot to this spot then we had the australian dollar the australian dollar we had a buy position and a sell position and definitely the buy, uh, the sell position was initiated. Okay, it was close to our sell. But also, guys, I know that a lot of you, many of you, went actually into a long position because it was initiated first. And few people ask me, can we trade both positions? I always say, guys, yes, but you need to do it with low risk. I trade usually on one position only. You need to know that, okay? So only, only uh, one position. And here you can see how the things were. So 76.76, 75.98. The price rejected from 75.98 and, well, went up. So this was also very, very good trade. A very good trade, okay? Next one was the dollar CAD, 30, 30, 15, 28.90, okay? And we had also a nice uh, rejection on the dollar CAD. So uh, this was basically a, a buy position. That, was, that happened here, but before we had a buy, we actually had a sell. So what did you trade? I hope that you went with a sell per our rules. And this was a sell position here. Very, very, very good trade. I hope that you made some pips or at least here. Australian dollar, New Zealand, also winning trade. Okay, you can see it here. 0901 These are the levels. And what happened was basically the price went down to 1.0850. And then it made a drawdown here and it rejected to the upside. So 50 possible pips also on the Australian dollar, New Zealand. And this was, well, you can see it here. Okay, these were results. Okay, guys, 
Now, what did I prepare for you this week? This is the first setup, Euro dollar, 1.8 in 70, stop loss 1.19 in 20, TP is 1.17 in 20, buy position 1.17 in 20, stop loss 1.60 in 90, TP 1.17 in 90. And here we are now, just give me a few seconds. Okay, so here you can see it here. We have okay, we have possible trading levels here, uh, and the price could come to our selling spot. Okay, but definitely, definitely, there is a potential on euro dollar, no matter the ranging price. Markets are ranging a little bit now. But as I say, we still have the chance to actually uh, make some pips, no matter this range. Okay, so uh, let me just do one more thing, guys. Give me a few seconds. Okay, want to try something? Uh, let me. Okay, just give me a few. Just a few seconds. Okay, and I will try. Yeah, I'm gonna. Nah. Okay, this is it. Now you should be able to see the screen. Even, I think, even if you are having some problems with a uh, blurry screen, I think that now it should be clear. Here, it's pretty much clear. So, the first thing I want to do is I would like to see a sell if it happens because in my opinion euro is ranging ranging and one point uh, you see guys here this is it weekly H4 now if you if we zoom out here 1.70 this is the level 1.1870 I think that from this level the price will drop. Because we have weekly H4, weekly H5. We have also daily now. Now, if we add, of course, I will add. Just give me a few seconds. 89, exponential. Uh, the problem here is that the price, you see, today's range is only 53 pips. Only 53 pips is today's range. And I don't think that the price uh, will go much further today probably it might it will go tomorrow so maybe this is good level to go long mario but also don't forget that this is the strongest support and it hasn't been tested yet 17 20 weekly h3 weekly l guys watch this i will i'll just so it's weekly l3 level if you go to four hour time frame here, you will see that it's very close. It's close to monthly Camarilla pivot. So it could go down. And I expect that weekly L3 should hold the price. And now you see it's like the bear is not going anywhere. It's just up and down, up and down all day. I thought that it will really go more to the upside but it stopped short at 1820 so i don't i don't really think that there will be huge movement today and also don't forget that this week is very very risky you will have trump also and i mean not just trump but there will be huge risks in the market with north korean president and also there will be some more important events also for the oil dollar cad dollar yen also brexit so there will be a lot of lot of lot of uh, things to consider guys it will be a very risky week please if you trade trade it with just a little bit lower risk just drop your risk a little bit because the market is definitely ranging now at this point and here 
you can see even if you go to my light template here you can see that the price now try is trying to drop but you see how it's clustered here so this is pure range even on four hour time frame this is the range guys even on four hour time frame we see the range watch this so yeah this is the range and i think that if it drops we could probably might buy it although daily is inclining to be a buy so i think that it's much better to buy it but if if it gets here i will sell it but if it drops down i will buy it. as i say and mario you can watch also the reaction around 1780 so maybe here you you already had a buying opportunity but it was not that good it's only 18 pips but we cannot move the price ourselves so if it drops down that would be a good 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 uh level to actually buy from 17 20 15 that is the zone okay next one is the gbp dollar 34 20 stop 34 60 tp 33 10 buy 33 trend stop 10 stop is 32 60 tp is 34 20. so uh this is the gbp dollar now the price is still you see this is the range also the price moved up now it's ranging now the price is rejecting dma 89 so i think that here what can i say i think that we have both we can trade this both ways so 34 20 or 33 10 whichever hits first 33 10 is here close to weekly l3 now basically we need to calculate wait 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 just give me a few seconds to refresh the chart yeah it's weekly l4 so weekly l4 and also if you go to four hour time frame you will see that it corresponds very closely to monthly camarilla and this hasn't been tested now this level weekly so it's close to monthly i guess if it drops down this will be a good level to buy but also if you want to sell it 3420 is your sell today results of manufacturing pmi were very very bad and because of that uh because of that uh, the gbp dropped heavily like a stone but the results were very very bad really so basically here here you can see 3420 i think that it could be a retest a mal we have multiple trend lines here okay so i really think that we could actually see a rejection from these levels a lot of lot of resistance here okay so this is what i see here next one is the australian dollar the australian dollar is in uptrend you can buy around 75.85 stop is 75.50 tp is 76.50 alternative sell is 76.50 stop is 77.10 tp is 75.85 so this is the australian dollar here again this is a downtrend from this spot but don't forget that it is also uptrend here you see so it's still ranging mode you see how the price is making highs and lows so the price is still ranging and again similar as with other currencies there could be two-way trading 75.85 is buy sell is 76.50 so sell 76.50 top of the this close to the top of this range is daily h4 ATR projection high, historical sellers here, 
these are sellers and 75 85 could be a buy if it drops here now this is close to weekly l3 and ATR confluence with the atr here projection low so if the price drops i think that we could buy it probably uh Gullet is asking would a chinese gdp figure coming out tuesday have an impact on aussie yeah limited impact indeed uh, mostly it will have the impact on australian dollar yen so i guess also an australian dollar but not as with the australian dollar yen there should be a bigger impact on the odn than on the audio australian dollar but just in case if you trade it do it with a lower risk and once you're in just protect your profits okay do it and it will have basically the impact on equities hsi 50 or hang seng, hang seng index the main index of hong kong hang seng index you need to watch it carefully and it is in correlation with the australian dollar yen so you see guys i mean markets are now waiting for this summit for this meeting trump and kim so you know it's like they markets simply don't want to risk a lot before the actual meeting so because of that the price is ranging now and we need to be prepared for these ranges so just pay attention to it and of course trade it with protecting your profits if some pips are made and usually you will have 20 30 pips from my analysis even if you have more much higher momentum then even better than you can protect it even more so this is the australian dollar so selling spot and buying 75.85. Next one is the dollar cat. The dollar cat is in uptrend. 29.40 buy stop. 28.90 TP 30.60 sell. 30.60 stop. 30.90 TP 29.80. So the Australian dollar cat is in uptrend. And here it looks like ranging price action but this is it's not a huge like like zigzag it's more like buying the dip uh, selling the rally but it's still uptrend and the angle of this ema is inclined to the upside so for to me this looks bullish the dollar cad and on the dollar cad this is the setup 2940 2890 tp 3060 sell 3060 stop 3090 tp 2980 so this is a selling spot the top of this atr corresponding to monthly h3 and here strong levels guys weekly h4 so very strong levels here guys i think it could drop from this spot and here so i think that i would go long on dip preferably a lot more i would go longer long on dip i would like to see 2940 really somewhere here guys you have a trend line too and you see it could drop then this trend line would actually be probably be, uh, will be placed here and here you have historical buyers here and the trend line also here watch this this was a fake out you don't place trend lines on fake outs see fake out you don't place your trend line here because it's a fake out and here so i think this is a good level to go long around 2840 here and the wti guys 
Uh, it's ranging. I traded WTI, made 45 pips today. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, I don't have it here on this account, but just take a look at this these levels. And I think that we could actually make some nice trades here. Okay, so this could be it. 6660, stop 6720, TP 6560, buy 6560, 6510, and TP 6660. So sell here, buy there. Just write it down. So, guys, if you have any questions now, please do not hesitate to ask me. Uh, if you have any other questions, so these are setups. And uh, again, previous week was very, very good. We had a lot of good trades here, guys. And I hope that you really made some pips. Yeah, I would really need to, I don't know, guys, let me just check if I have the other account here open. Then I can do WTI, yeah. Here, first WTI. You see 6660. A lot of sellers here. And the price could drop. I'm still holding KDN, although some I traded KDN today, and few people actually told me that they scaled out. But I I'm trading it. Why not? I'm trading it really. And uh, yeah, this is a typo in stop loss, but yeah, I'm trading it. Indeed. I'm into the dollar, the KDN trade indeed, but guys, as I say, the trade went uh, 20 pips in profit, and this stop loss should be moved to this spot here. Yeah, Mokshin said that he closed and. Uh, re-entered here okay so guys let me just okay you need to go with print screen and uh, you will uh, you will have you will have a screenshot basically the windows function normal function so yeah i'm still in here at the end but as i said on one of my accounts i went a little bit heavier and i closed it but uh, I didn't update, and I still holding this is uh, a low to high build up account, so smaller, and I'm still holding it. But yeah, I made nice pips with WTI today, 45. So yeah, and one more thing, uh, a trader asked me about silver. So here, this is silver. Let me just try to find. It needs to be updated with levels. Yeah, you see, it's like, okay, what would I tell you about silver? Let me open four hour time frame. And the indicators list here. Okay. These are the levels to watch for. Pay attention to 1703, 1710, 1734. Very important levels, especially the 17 level on silver. If you trade it, pay attention to it. 1703, 1710, 1734. 
let me just try something. Seventeen ten, seventeen zero three, see, and seventeen thirty four. And gold, the question about gold. See these levels, guys. Okay, I will remove some of them. Gold is ranging, guys, but also moving from the bottom. Rejection from weekly L3 and weekly H3 rejection. Weekly L3 and weekly H3 are usually the most important levels. When the price rejects from any one of those the first time during the week so here i would say if it breaks the trend line go long if it breaks this lower trend line go short that is why what i would tell that is what i would tell you about gold bullet long here short there i mean this is congestion consolidation before the breakout usually there is a storm before the calm and this is the calm now and we might expect the storm especially during trump and kim's meeting so be prepared guys always be, be prepared the question about the australian dollar cat let me see here Okay, so just the Australian dollar CAD. Yeah, I can use this one for the Australian dollar CAD. Uptrend here. And I would say go long on the dip. yeah this could be it here below to 98.80 it's 98.70 if it dips here watch to buy it but treat this as a scalp mostly scalp trade because the price might actually go either way because now there will be a range probably so yes guys try to treat it as a scalp mostly Okay, Euro Australian dollar status, Euro Audi. Yeah, it's trying to go up, but I would say 54.60 here. This is a spot to go long, 54.60. From this spot, it could reject and go up. We need some retracement because this is head and shoulders. You see the head and shoulders here, guys. Left, head, right shoulder, and now the price is dropping. So go long from this spot. And the GBP Audi also. Yeah, you see the price is it has made head and shoulders. Dropped from this spot. I would say short on rally yeah definitely go short on rally if the price goes up somewhere around this region watch for reversal or a retest of this trend line i think it could drop watch for that guys so around 7606 7630 here it could drop so I hope that this would be it, guys. That is helped. I will roll the screen, the slides again now, and let's see what we will have 
for this week. Hope that it will be also successful as the previous week. So Euro dollar, the GBP dollar, the Australian dollar, the dollar yen, and the WTI. Watch these levels trade with low risk due to risky week. And don't forget to follow our elite currency and updates, a lot of updates during the day, Twitter and so on. Thank you guys for listening. I wish you a great trading week. And of course, as always, trade safe. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.